Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't notice you there. Well, I play uh, the, the, the true crux of the plot, Mike Valentine. When I first worked with this group during the short film for the 48-hour film festival, it was, uh, it was such a unique and uh, exciting occasion to spend so much time with, with creative people and, and friends of mine. I'm truly honored to be a part of this. My name is Erich Adams. I'm from Asheville. It just felt like everyone got along so well that it was like a few weeks later, we're all, why don't we make a real movie? Why don't we make a feature-length movie here? Corey's my wife. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. you got to pull it together. Leela is an organizer. Leela is the person who had the foresight to make this all happen. Luckily she asked us I think six months in advance and pretty much it proves that if you ask anyone six months in advance they'll agree to almost anything. Katie is kind of the glue that holds us all together. I'd say brains, gl brainy glue. Okay, she's the brainy glue <laughs> that holds us all together. The, the bottom button right there is how you do it. I'm the director. Katie is the technical, creative, and visual end. She's actually trained with a college degree in the thing we're trying to do. So I work as a photographer and I work doing commercial production. First of all, jump on board the Imagination Train. We're going to ride the rails, okay? Imagination Train. That's right. Dave has got a real quirky sense of humor that I love. Are we rolling? Yeah. I play Ms. Udio, who is, uh, I guess, the, the, uh, Matt plays the straight man, and I play the not-so-straight man. Matt is KT. He's the demon. He's a demon guy, and, uh, and I'm his, uh, his angel friend. I will be playing one of the uh, uh, main characters. Maybe you could try not stabbing people? He's sent from hell into the angel and training program, and uh, basically hijinks ensue. You were once successful. Wife, beautiful child, band. How did it all go wrong? I rode the waves of success as long as I could. Talk shows, trashing hotel rooms, buying expensive stuff. But then when the time came to write new material, it all fell apart. Remember when rap music crossed over into pop and Tough white guys can make a name for themselves. And then country music was top in the charts. But country wasn't for me. And pop music was so in, I felt like I had to give it a try. <clears throat> And then there was death metal. I actually had a pretty big following in the metal world, but it was just too hazardous. No one put out the fire because they thought it was a part of the show. I still can't grow hair on my left arm. Seriously, guys, I tried everything. What about your family? Monica never really supported my music especially when it quit paying the bills. Guess I'm really not cut out to be a father. So what do you think of my new necklace? That sure looks good to me. Your card back, Kylie Taylor. Name <gasps> is Kyle Tyler. <gasps> oh, KT. I know, I know, and I'm sorry about the stabbing. 
Okay. Which one? I mean, this was the third time in a month. Well, hey, at least this guy wasn't an assignment, right? Well, maybe you could try not stabbing people. For 600 years, all I've done is stab people, okay? Stabbing souls as they go through the third layer of hell. Why are we here? We're cloud staring. Yeah, what's that? First of all, jump on board the Imagination Train. We're gonna ride the rails, okay? Imagination Train? That's right, I'm the conductor. Got my little cap on and blowing my whistle. All aboard. Okay, so basically, here's what you do. When you cloud stare, you look at a cloud in the sky and you transform it into something else, something different, something fun. Okay, let me just illustrate what I'm talking about here, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, that cloud straight up there, that little poofy one, cute one right there, that looks like a Sasquatch wearing a powdered wig, uh, drinking Mai Tais with a transgender roller derby team. Oh, okay, and this one right over here, that looks like a, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex doing jazz hands. Let's tell me what that looks like. What, what, what do you see? I mean, I'm curious. What do you see? What are you seeing up there? Okay, fine. That looks like a poodle with no legs. All right, happy? And it's in the back of a dump truck. Okay, and... Oh, it's getting in the ass by a baby camel that's bleeding out of it. A pool of blood, the shape of Florida. Okay, that's, okay, that, you know that's good. KT, that's now. Cutting off George Washington. Okay, that's just head. enough cloud staring. KT. Okay, I think we're done cloud staring. Jesus wow, why have I not done this before? What the hell was that? He saw our faces, and you let him get away. Pain, man. Fucking pain. We've got to get that thing taken care of. No, he bit me. But there's no chance he changed me. No, I left him screaming. But I am out of commission here. There is an opportunity. These vampire scum are injured. Who can you send? Her? No, I don't trust her. Fine, your call. This is Joanna Maroney, the best fucking dentist there is. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, I'm a fucking mess, Doc. Hey, big fella, you come over here on my left, huh? First time under a hood? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's all right. This is the first time for everything, huh? It's not so hard. Me? I love machines. Because machines break, but we can fix them. People you can't fix, and they break. Wires get loose, screws are loose. But now you never know what's wrong with them. Are you almost ready? Just a minute, darling. Now you got a pretty simple problem here. Now, this fluid cap popped off, so all we gotta do is fill it with fluid, pop it back on, and jump her off. The odd thing is, something like this doesn't happen unless you hit a bump at high speeds. You didn't run over anything, did you? Uh, yeah. No. Is this dangerous? Nah, just 12 volts. Might shock you a little bit. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, nothing. It could paralyze you. What? Just kidding. Oh. Clamp's a little loose, so I'm gonna need you to hold on to them. Oh, okay. Um, like this? Just like that. Okay. So these batteries put out about 12 volts. Nothing too bad. You might get a little shock. Now, once the engine's cranked and there's a bit more juice, now tension muscles up something fierce. So, so how is this safe again? Well, you never touch those things unless they're insulated. Go ahead and crank it. But they're not insulated. That's why I wear the rubber gloves. <laughs> 